With over 40% of the U.S. population at least partially vaccinated, many of those most at risk or most eager to get vaccinated have already done so. Now the U.S. faces a tough road ahead to protect hard-to-reach populations. Some states have already turned down or scaled back vaccine shipments as supply outpaces demand. Louisiana has stopped asking the federal government for its full allotment of the vaccine while Mississippi asked for the vials to be shipped in smaller packages so they don't go to waste. About three quarters of Kansas counties have turned down new shipments of the vaccine at least once over the past month. The Biden administration expects the daily vaccination rate, currently at 3 million and outpacing many countries, to moderate and fluctuate going forward, said Jeff Zients, the White House COVID-19 response coordinator. We've gotten vaccinations to the most at risk and those most eager to get vaccinated as quickly as possible, Zients said in a task force briefing Friday. We know reaching other populations will take time and focus. In an attempt to better reach those hesitant to take the vaccine, the White House announced a We Can Do This live campaign to connect people on social media to trusted information by pairing health professionals with influencers, including actress Eva Longoria, TV personality Ryan Seacrest, Barbara Corcoran of Shark Tank and players of the NBA and the WNBA. Meanwhile, with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine available again after an 11-day pause due to reports of rare blood clots, States are counting on the easier-to-store, one-dose option to help protect hard-to-reach populations including people who are homeless or disabled. More than 40% of Americans have been at least partially vaccinated, ranking the U.S. near the top in vaccination rates, our World in Data reports. This comes as Michigan's coronavirus case rate has begun to fall, dropping 12.5% over the last week, suggesting the state's third surge, the worst in the U.S., may be waning. The United States land borders with Canada and Mexico will remain restricted to non-essential travel through at least May 21, according to the Department of Homeland Security. During the pandemic, wealthy Americans have taken advantage of cheap mortgages, increased savings and the ability to work from home, and their demand for bigger homes and million-dollar listings outpaced sales of homes across all other price ranges. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates. Want more? Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates to your inbox and join our Facebook group. Johnson & Johnson's COVID vaccine will be made available to the public again, ending an 11-day pause initiated after a rare blood clotting disorder was associated with the shot. The government has uncovered 15 vaccine recipients who developed a highly unusual kind of blood clot out of nearly 8 million people given the J&J &J shot. Three died, and seven remain hospitalized.